Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Pawfology. So today I'm just going on a walk during my lunch break and uh, just going to talk about my day. How are you doing today? Are you having a good day? Let me know in the comments. So I also just want to say thank you to everyone who's been liking and commenting on all my videos. Just thank you so much. Thank you Wolfpack. Uh, just thank you. And thank you to everyone else who's also commenting who may not be part of the Wolfpack. Uh, but just thank you so much. So uh, I'm really excited for something that might be a little dumb and weird, but it's it's uh, I'm ex very excited for pizza. Okay, who doesn't get excited for pizza? I love pizza. I think it's amazing. It's just it's just so good. So later tonight, Emily and I for dinner are going to have the triple treat pizza from Pizza Hut. Triple treat box from Pizza Hut. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I've been thinking about it for since last night. I woke up thinking about Pizza Hut pizza. I was just like, oh, I'm so excited. Here's the deal though. I'm not the biggest fan of Pizza Hut pizza, but I do love their pepperonis. I think Pizza Hut has the best pepperonis in town. The pizza might be a little greasy, but it tastes good. And will we eat the whole triple treat box from Pizza Hut? No, it's a lot of pizza, but I'm just, I'm just so excited for it. I haven't had Pizza Hut in a while, so I'm looking forward to it. What is your favorite pizza franchise? Pizza Hut, Papa John's, Domino's, Jets Pizza, Little Caesars, what else? I think that's all I can think of. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite Pizza Hut franchise? And what's your favorite toppings? And you can have more than one. What's your favorite toppings, your favorite type of pizza? Man, I am, I am not getting king dough, but that's fine. They're, they're not doing any like triple treat box like Pizza Hut. So, but yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. What else? Day, my day has been pretty good. I've just been working. I've been in a few meetings today that were not ultra boring. So that's always a good day. Um, I'm, uh, <clears throat> I am, oh, I'm going to go this way. I am mentally preparing myself to hang out with people tomorrow, which I know that may sound horrible and it's really not, I'm, I'm being for real. I'm just like mentally preparing myself. Like I'm hanging out with people. I'm going to see people. I'm just getting ready for it. You know, anyone else do that? You know, just, just prepare yourself for seeing people or being in groups with people. Cause I know I have to, and these people are really cool. It's not, it's not, it's nothing. It doesn't matter who it is. Like I could be hanging out with the coolest person, but I got to mentally prepare myself for that. So, yeah. So, you know, just, and what does that look like? I don't know. Just making sure I, I don't know. Make, I don't know what I do. Just chill at night or something. I don't know. Or just think about it a lot so I can prepare myself for it. I don't know. So, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to go back now to my apartment and get back to work. So, I'll see you soon. I'm walking by a ton of people, so it's really awkward. Okay, I'll be right back. So I'm about to unbox this Pizza Hut pizza. You can see it's the triple treat box and they have Pizza H in the hat. I think that's what it is. And then they got little circles for pizzas maybe or pepperonis. And on the front of the box it says, oh, you can see my fingers. No matter if you've been naughty or if you've been nice, the triple treat box comes with your favorite slice. Wow, I feel really encouraged after reading that. Cutting open the sealed tamper. Oh wow, I was expecting something a little different, but this is cool too. So it's two medium pizzas and cinnamon rolls. There's no seal on that one, but there's a seal on this one. This is a lot of a pizza. It's very embarrassing, actually. Wow. Wow, we really just did this. Look at all this. Should we open it? Yeah. That's so funny. Look at those baby cinnamon rolls. <laughs> I bet they're good. Yeah. They're so small. That is so interesting. That's so funny. This, that looks good. The cheese pizza. I am a cheese pizza fan. There's a pepperoni pizza. Wow, I love, I love pizza pepperoni. 
I'm probably going to keep this box and use it as uh, to, to give it to someone like an, as a present. It would be a great present box. Maybe to Milky Way Matthew. Oh my gosh, yeah. Maybe I'll send Milky Way Matthew a present in the mail using the Pizza Hut box. That's so funny. I would have to put it in a box. Just send it. Okay, so I will talk to you very soon. Bye. Hey everyone, welcome back. I have my beautiful wife, Emily, with me. And we're just going to talk, so I don't know what's going to happen. So You're in for it. <laughs> right. So <laughs> I, we'll, we'll just see. We'll just see. Okay, so we just finished dinner. We got Pizza Hut. And it was it was it was pretty good, uh, you know. When you eat Pizza Hut, sometimes you feel gross afterwards. That's what I feel right now. Yes. So I agree. Yeah, I kind of yeah. I don't regret getting it because I was so excited. I remember, you know, seeing it. I I I talked about it last night, like at five p.m. And then I thought about it at eleven p.m. And it was like one a.m. when I was going to bed, thinking about it. Wow. Then I woke up like at I woke up at six a.m. and I was like. What's happening? I was like, oh, I'm so excited for pizza tonight. <laughs> then I fell back to sleep. And then I woke up at seven. I was like, oh man, I got to get up. I'm so sleepy, but I got to have pizza tonight. Pizza Hut. So that's how I feel about my coffee. Yeah. Yeah. And I felt like that about pizza today. Okay. So do you guys like Pizza Hut? I mean, I know it's, I feel like it's very much you either like pizza hut or you don't yeah my mom never would get pizza hut because it was too greasy so if we ever got pizza it was papa john's so i love papa john's i like papa mm. john's too yeah i like their breadsticks i love their garlic dipping sauce i do too it's the bomb yeah I do it's too. so good yeah. so i definitely like papa john's better but i like pizza hut like it's cool and the box was very fun, very holiday and festive. So that was cool. Yeah. Papa John's doesn't do interesting things like Pizza Hut does. I mean, Pizza Hut has, you know, the Spidey Man box and the Spider Man whatever pizza. And they have the Cheez It pizza that I've never had. They have Cheez It pizza? Yeah. They have a partnership with Cheez It, I think. I think. Wow. And I think so does maybe KFC. I don't know. I I, don't know. I really love Cheez Its. I just don't know if I would like a Pizza Hut Cheez It pizza. You know, yeah. some things oh, you just don't need to mix. Actually, I think the Cheez It was um, like little cheese sticks or something. I don't know what it was. It was it was like in the shape of a Cheez It, and it's stuffed bread or something. I don't know. Hmm. So, but and on the pizza we got the Pizza Hut crust flavor. So. The crust is, you know, their special Pizza Hut garlic Parmesan seasoning. Okay, I good. always over, I always overhype that. I'm always like, man, it's gonna be the best. It's gonna be awesome. But tonight, I was like, oh man, this is literally like scampi, scampi sauce on the bread. But overall, like if I don't overthink <laughs> like it, like shrimp scampi. Yeah, it's like they baked it in shrimp scampi. And I, That's funny. And I was like, ugh. But no, it's good. But then after your sec, after maybe like a piece and a half, you're like, oh, I can't eat this. Mm. But I don't know why. But I will say when that Pizza Hut, whatever stuff they put on the crust mixes with that pepperoni, it's so good. It's just <laughs> so good. Nothing compares to the pepperoni of Pizza Hut. So and what, it's horrible for you. So Yeah, that is true. But it was good. What are your guys' favorite pizza toppings? Like what's what's your ideal combination? Yeah, let us know in the comments below. Actually, I asked you guys already. So if oh. you already commented, that's fine. And I also okay. asked you, um, what's your favorite retail franchise pizza place? I did not realize that. I normally read all the comments too, and I didn't see that. No, I asked it in the video they just saw before this. So this may this might go in. Oh, I went on a okay. walk this afternoon. I was like, "Hey guys, what's up? I'm excited for Pizza Hut. What's your favorite pizza? What's your favorite topping?" And also, I have I'm having like uh, to prepare myself to hang out with people, like have just like anxiety of hanging out with people and stuff for tomorrow night. Poor but guy. maybe I won't put that up. I don't know. Maybe I'll just put this part up as the beginning, as the actual vlog, and not 
the other part. But I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll, wa- I'll I guess let Emily watch it later. We'll wait and see, huh? Yeah. Be surprised. Yeah, I don't know to what's going to happen. So if you're still watching this, comment down below pepperoni. So I know. Yeah. Just cool. let me know. Okay. What else is going on? How was your day? My day was good. I mean, it's Friday, so that's always exciting day. I feel like it's been a great week. Now it's weekend. I can look forward to sleeping in, which we are both big fans of sleeping in. Yeah, I love it. I look forward to it every weekend. Yeah. Um, I used to like wake up early on the weekends when I was like a kid and like was younger, which I think a lot of kids do wake up early on the weekends and like wake their parents up and stuff. But I outgrew that and now I'm a great sleeper. So I'm, I'm pumped about that. Um, actually today was my last day working in the office until 2021. That's crazy. I know it is so weird. I, I just can't believe we're at this place right now, like in the year, like where it's, we can see that 2020 is almost over. Like so much has happened this year, especially like in the world, but also just like in our lives too. Like we moved, we both started new jobs. Yeah. Obviously got a new apartment and we live in a whole new state, not to mention every other thing like COVID and a lot of other stuff that's happened. So anyway... I will be working from home until Christmas. Michael and I will be here together in our one bedroom apartment. We're (laughs) both trying to be professional and work from home. So fun. Yeah, it'll be good. We've done it before. (laughs) I think we did it for like a month and a half or or maybe Actually, yeah, about a month when we first moved here because I wasn't in the office yet. But I love being in the office. So... That was cool. Like I said, bye to all my coworkers and my boss got back from Michigan today. So I got to see him and, you know, say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Cause we won't be like, I won't see him till after Christmas and New Year's. Cause we're going to your parents' house. Yeah. I haven't been to Virginia in a very long time. So. In a year. Yeah, I haven't seen my mom in a year. It's crazy. Is, or my dad. That makes me kind of sad. Yeah, it, it's very crazy. So, Does it feel like it's been that long or does it feel no. like it's gone by faster? Or feels like It feels like it's still February. Isn't that me. crazy? Yeah, it feels like I really haven't done anything except just be in this apartment and well, whatever. You really are in this apartment quite a bit. Yeah, I kind of go crazy. No, I don't. I actually don't. You love it. I actually like. I I I, I just said that because that's something cliche to say. I don't go crazy <laughs> at all. Actually, I'm the perfect candidate for working at home. I, right. yeah, no, I am. Like the fact that I have to mentally prepare myself for hanging out with people that I know like pretty for well for like two to three hours. Yeah. So <laughs> no, I'm. I like. I like working from home. Yeah. So I am so happy that it's you that's working from home and not me like this is a good situation yeah (laughs) for both of us yeah i like it yeah so so but i'm excited for this weekend we are going to i know that you guys already have heard this but we're going to newfields which is actually the new name for like the museum of art in indy it used to be called I think just like the Indiana Museum of Art, but it's called New Fields. Yeah, I didn't know that. I honestly thought we were going to a field, just a field of Christmas lights. And like, that's what you you did or that's something. Funny. I don't know. Well, I really don't know what it's going to be like, but I know it's outside. You walk through different areas. I think they have gardens and stuff, but it's supposed to be really pretty. And we had to get tickets for this, like quite a while ago yeah i remember hearing about it on the radio Mm -hmm. then i i heard about it that day and then i went on and they were sold out so that was yeah i I didn't get the ticket so i don't know how you got the tickets maybe they're not sold out now i don't know i think 
well, I don't know either, but I'm assuming that they are. No, somebody at work told me about it because they went to like the fall, like pumpkin festival maybe, maybe there. That, yeah. And I wanted to go to that because Michael loves fall. It's his like favorite season. And I, I thought that you would enjoy that. And obviously I would too. But by the time I knew about that, the tickets were sold out. So I really wanted to make sure that we could go to the Newfield's Winter Lights. That's what it's called, Winter Lights. And we did. And we're going with our friends. I'm excited. That'll be like the last time that we see them until after Christmas too. Because I'm trying to limit like our social exposure and... Just trying to stay as healthy as possible before we go and see Michael's family. So, crazy times. Yeah. But, yeah. I was also going to tell you that I'm giving my friends... Am I talking too much? Is that fine? No, I don't care. Okay. No, just go. Just People sometimes like longer stuff, I, I think. I have a lot to say sometimes when I get home from work. <laughs> just talk, talk, talk. Okay. So... I'm excited to give my friends or our friends that we're going with tomorrow night to the lights um, like a little gift because they are they're actually moving their stuff tomorrow from their apartment over to their new house. Um, So they've already moved part of it and we went and saw their house last weekend, but like they're going to move their bed and their dresser. So I'm pretty sure they're going to be like, you know, starting to live there now since their bed's going to be there. So anyway, um, my friend was mentioning that she would love to have the Humans of New York book. If you follow them on Instagram or I don't know, maybe they have Facebook or Twitter or something, but really cool and just profiles people who live in New York City. So she said they have like a coffee table book and that she wanted to have that for their new house. So I got that for them off Amazon. I didn't know that. I thought that was for your dad. Nope. And maybe I should have gotten them something too. That's from both of us. Yeah. But also, you know. It's kind of more for her. Yeah. But I don't think, I don't know, if you want to get him something. Man, maybe I should do that. I don't know. Well, it's kind yeah. of short notice at this uh, point. I can just do it. I could just, you know, whatever. You could figure something out. I could buy him a brisket. That'd be <laughs> that'd be very funny. He would, he would probably love, love that. Actually, He'd be like, oh man, awesome. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. What a well, this is stereotypical, but I was gonna say, what a guy gift. Get you a brisket. Yeah. But I mean, I like brisket too. I'm just not a cook, and I definitely cannot cook meat. Brisket's really hard to make, though. So, but he said he was going to be getting a smoker, but I don't think he has has one yet, or maybe he does. I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, he might have bought one this week. But last night I bought my first roll of um, wrapping paper. <laughs> Sound like it's going somewhere else. Roll Royce. Roll. Of, yeah, that too. I was going to say roll of toilet paper. It's getting roll. scarce around here. Um, roll of wrapping paper, like Christmas wrapping paper. So I'm going to wrap that gift tonight or tomorrow. And I need to start wrapping some other gifts too. But I'm going to wrap most of like the gifts for your family at your house. Because mm. you sent them there, right? Like you sent all of your family's gifts to. I haven't bought anyone's gifts Good I haven't to know. Bought any of my family's <laughs> gifts. I don't care. I'll I'll wait three days before Christmas to buy gifts. Well, okay. That's just how it is. And I just trust that Amazon will pull it pull through. Even though they probably won't. Maybe we'll work on that this week. Yeah, I might just slowly might. do that. Honestly, I ha- I do not care. I'll be like, yeah, I will be here three days after I'm gone. So I mean, I guess that would be fine. Just, but I I don't just give them a post note, like, yeah. Give them a post-it note. I don't care. (laughs) Whatever. I'll wrap up the post-it note and it'll say your gift is on its way (laughs) in the mail. That's what your brother, that's what your brother did to me one time. That's true. He he wrote it on a piece of paper. Oh my goodness. Your gift will be here. (laughs) Whatever. You did not care. I don't care. You're the perfect person that like you could do that too. Yeah. You'd be like, "Hmm, okay. I'd be like, well, I would be okay too, but I, I just have a harder time masking my surprise or emotion. Yeah, I don't care. Shocking. Yeah, that's cool. So. 
Anyway, did you want to show them that? I want to show you guys my candle. I might have, have I already done this before? I know I have. I talk about this candle, Maple Hazelnut. I love it by DW Home. Mm. Just wanted to say that. It is so good. It smells so good. We, so they haven't had it. We used to always get it at Marshall's. Yeah. And we would look in the candle section every time we went there. And if they had them, we would buy all of them. I know it's kind of embarrassing. Yeah. No, I, I don't care. You can go online and buy them for like 20 bucks, maybe more. Or you can just go down to Marshall's and buy them for whatever they cost, eight ninety nine. Yeah. But they, they haven't had them in like three years at least at Marshall's. Like they do not make this scent for Marshall's. Marshall's. Yeah, I kind of wondered if they just did that to, they sold it to Marshall Marshall's just to get people to start buying their candles. Because it's the best scent? Yeah, I don't know if it's the best scent, but I think it's a very popular scent, especially around this season, fall, winter. Yeah. It's just a more winter, com- comfy it's sweet. smell. So I also like the balsam flavor not flavor scent yeah smells like a christmas tree yeah it does i was really expecting our christmas tree that we got from whole foods to be more like aroma like more smelly if you Uh, get close to it it smells yeah it does it smells really good you gotta squeeze all the branches yeah it's a great tree you're not supposed to do that so i think it's probably for the best that it's not super duper well, smelly because that would probably give you a headache being in here 24 7 yeah and the pines are really small or the whatever it's called little, the pine needles yeah pine needles they're really small so yeah i think my mom told me she came in and looked at the tree she said it was a douglas fir and it was like a really wow. nice one and she's got experience picking Wait, out one? christmas trees this tree yeah oh wow yeah she's like these are one of the good ones oh wow that's interesting. You know what we haven't done yet with the tree? Decorated it? Well, yeah, but <laughs> specifically, we haven't put our new ornament on it uh, that we got at Silver in the City. Yeah. Our dumpster fire 2020. <laughs> that is funny. That's so funny. Yeah, we need to put that on there. Uh, yeah. We normally get a new ornament every year, but... I haven't been the best about keeping track of those. Like we don't know where they are? Well, I know where most of them are. You mean, yeah, I I don't. I'm a little worried that I don't know where like our first Christmas ornament is, which is probably the most important one. What was it? Do you know? Um, I don't fully remember. Yeah, I don't remember either. So. Well, oh, well. (laughs) It's fine. (laughs) Maybe we can just get one and say like. 2015 this was our first ornament yeah we probably got it at what's that place called in danville that i love oh uh, the gingerbread house yeah the gingerbread house yeah so cute i know we bought one i think i i think i bought a couple and i broke them so that's there, also possible there's like two years down the drain so whatever <laughs> two years there's down like some the boutique drain. that we went to and I, I know i broke that one i know i broke last year's oh the one from sandwich yeah illinois is yeah. the antique shops yeah how funny is that i know i broke it like i had it for five seconds and i broke it mm. wow well, oh well you win some you lose some yeah do you guys get like one new ornament every year or like ornaments for your kids every year or like if you go on a trip i think that would be fun like if you go on a trip get an ornament for the tree at that mm-hmm. cool place. Yeah, every year I would pick out an ornament from Hallmark. Nice. I would get, I don't know, I would, I would get, I don't know. But my mom would always get a Charlie Brown one. That's cute. Yeah. I love Charlie one Brown. One time I got a Detroit Tigers one, like the football team, just because I thought it looked cool. Oh, no, <laughs> I got that one. And then the next year I got a panthers football one but i don't like football i just got it because it was cool you just liked the animals i just like animals yeah that's so so cute i know i like i used to get the polar bears (laughs) from the polar bear 
uh, the, Coca-Cola. The Coca-Cola polar bear. Yeah. yeah. I just, yeah. So. Any of you who said you like Coke more, I'm on your same team. But I'm not, well, I am kind of picky, but I will drink Pepsi if needed. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if Michael can say the same. Nah, I'm just not a Pepsi person. I don't yeah. know, but someone said that uh, in the comments that Taco Bell has the best Pepsi, which I, I never believe that. that. That makes sense. I've gotten it from there, and it's really good. Yeah, I mean, you know, like how uh, McDonald's has the best Coke because they have those specialized machines that put in more cert. They do. Yeah, my boss have... told me that that's true. Well, our our friend from college, Alex, he's never gonna watch this. Okay, Alex, he worked for this company that would help install the water filters and the machines into the McDonald's. And it was like a super intense process. They have super specialized water machines that have to like triple quadruple filter water. And then that mixed in with the SERP spout, it like makes a perfect Coke and it's more SERPy. So it's very interesting. And the ice is like super perfect. It's so crazy. So does Starbucks. Starbucks has like crazy specialized water that makes all of their drinks like consistent and the same everywhere. So. But I will say you, you mentioned the ice at McDonald's. Do you guys feel like the ice melts super fast in McDonald's drinks? Cause I do. Yeah. I don't like that. Our ice melts really fast here. I, I do think there is something that's like a soft ice mm-hmm. that, I don't know, melts different or something. I don't know. I don't fully know. But yeah, I agree. It's not as hard. Yeah. As like the ice that you buy. Do you guys know what Chicago ice is? It, it's uh, cubes that maybe that's just, maybe they don't sell it here. I don't know. Or if you just get bagged oh, ice. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Any type of bag ice is really solid ice it's like hard and we used to buy bagged ice quite a bit at our old apartment because we didn't have an ice maker and we always had so much other stuff in the freezer like you know food and stuff that we would always tip over the ice cube trays Mm -hmm. so we really didn't use those so we either just didn't use ice or we buy some bag ice yeah, and this, also the yeah. water. You could you shouldn't drink the water where we lived before. So, huh? I n- I didn't like. Did you feel like our water there was better than here though? No, our water here is wacko. I think downtown Indy water it's is interesting. It's really really hard. Mm-hmm. So, but maybe that's just all city water. That could be true. So it's very hard. And I watched it's so funny. I looked it up when I first moved here. I I was researching it and. I was wondering why is the water so hard and why does it smell so weird? And the first thing that popped up was a, they just recently made the video, like in June. It was like, hey everyone, yes, your water does smell weird and it might even look a little odd, but trust us, you can drink it. I'm like, I'm not trusting you. (laughs) Like if you have to make a PSA about the water, like I don't want to drink the water here. You know what I mean? That without filtering sketchy. it i know they're like no it's fine i know Don't it may worry. smell and they're like it will smell every quarter so every quarter they put in more chemicals and they make it just right or whatever i'm like i do not trust you guys you over here you had so many complaints you're making a video saying trust us you can drink the water it may look weird but you can drink it oh. No, thank you. I, I'm fine. I mean, I'll do Brita filter, whatever, zero water, get it out. But that is concerning. Yeah, it is. It, it just makes me wonder, like, is the water like, I don't know, the pipes. It's so complicated comparing it to maybe it's not as bad as Flint, obviously. But I just wonder how old the pipes are. And it's so complicated probably to give city a water, city water. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah. I don't know. So it's not like my parents' house. They have, or any house in the county. I don't know about around here, but normally if you have well water and it's good well water, nothing beats it. So, yeah. But growing up, I had well water and it was really bad. Like metal would be in it yeah. and stuff like that. But then at my parents' new house, my parents' new house, it's perfect. It's it's immaculate. It's amazing. 
Yeah, I grew up in Indiana, and well water was not that good. Yeah. It was. It did not look like the water at your parents' house. So, but that's fine. Anyway, changing subject slightly. I know that Michael always talks about how he loves Calvin Fletcher's coffee. And he loves exploring like the fancier locally owned coffee shops, which I absolutely do too. And I love doing that on the weekends, like Saturday morning, going out to Calvin Fletcher's, getting a croissant at Amelia's. But I do have to say, I also love my Starbucks, as you may have learned from my K-Cup adventures. (laughs) So I was wondering... Does anyone here, number one, even like Starbucks, but number two, have a holiday drink that you like or what's your favorite one? Because I would love to try one. I think the holiday holiday drinks are so fun. And I mean, anything limited edition, I think is, I, I want to try it, you know? Yeah, I agree. I have a, a suggestion for even if one person wants to try this or if no one does that's fine I'm still gonna share a special drink with you so if you're into white mocha you might like this it has like a holiday twist to it get a grande white mocha with with one pump of toffee nut it is so good it tastes like Christmas baking mmm I really want that right now, mm. but that's, that's my suggestion. I'm not, I don't have a very mature coffee palette as you can tell, <laughs> but if anyone else likes fun drinks like me, you might want to try it. Yeah, I would try it. I don't think I've ever had it. Really? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Unless, just, you've, unless I, you got it. I feel like it would be too sweet for you. Yeah, I'm not I'm not really into super sugary coffee drinks. Well, unless you blend it up and make it a frappuccino milkshake thing. Mm. I like that. I don't care about that, but that would be good. Don't try to sell me coffee just to you know, stuff like that. You know, Starbucks does all that stuff and they're just masking their horrible espresso. So <laughs> Yeah. But Oh well. But yeah, no, I went when I went to Quills yesterday. I was thinking about getting a holiday drink, but then I saw it. Sorry, anyone from Quills. I'm like, there's nothing on here I want to get. And two of the drinks were not coffee. Like they did not they did not have coffee in them. I was like, no thanks. What did they have in them? I don't remember. Just like a cream base? Yeah. Or just milk? Yeah, it's all milk based. I think one was a tea based. Oh. Yeah, I think I don't know. I kind of want to say one had a um like a pine smelled Ooh. like it was like a piney i might that might be wrong on that but i kind of i think i remember reading that it was supposed to be like a christmas tree something like super fancy so yeah i would try that yeah my friend matthew went there and he got a, a mint drink there that was really mm. good was it a coffee or a tea i think it was coffee i just want to make sure my microphone's coffee. working i'm scared that i'm like unplugging it is that fine i is think it, it is yeah, it's working. Okay. That would just be unfortunate, you know, if we did this whole vlog and I would, you could just see my mouth moving. <laughs> yeah, that would be awful. Oh. We would just have to use the audio off this thing. Yeah. So. Also, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, you go. I have nothing. I thought of a place that I want us to try. Where? And I think you would like it. Okay. It is called the Gallery Pastry Bar. Huh, and. It new? No, it's not new. Well, I don't know when it opened. I don't think it's like old necessarily, but it's not brand new. It is off of Pennsylvania. So it's really close to where I work. I actually have been there before, but I would love to go like in the morning time because they have really good pastries hmm. and like different breads. And I want the croissant. Oh, nice. Um, I would go there. Good macaroons. And then a girl I work with told me that she got a an eggnog latte there i don't know if you like do you like eggnog it's hit or miss okay well do you guys like eggnog 
Yeah. I personally don't, but I haven't tried it in a while. So maybe I kind of want to try it again just to see. Maybe I do. Um, one of my co- co-workers, David, you know, who David, super funny guy. Okay. David is. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, he's. Yeah. Okay. So David, our friend David loves eggnog. I just think that's funny. I'm trying to think of who you're talking about. I don't want to say his name, but he used to work where I worked. So he was super pumped about eggnog every year. I think he would get uh-huh. overwise eggnog. That's funny. And he's just like super passionate and loves oh. whatever David's into. He loves it. Okay. I think and I know who he's you're talking like, about. I love eggnog. I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm, it's ready for eggnog season. Are we talking about Demo? Yeah. Yeah. Some of you know. I think it's so fun he makes everything fun he does i love those so, people yeah they're just into it yeah they're pumped mm-hmm. ready to go yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so i really want to i want you to try gallery pastry bar also on wednesdays they have dollar macaroons and i have never had a macaroon like i've never liked a macaroon that i've tried because i think they're not actually fresh and good So I think I would like them if I got a good one. I don't know. Macaroons just remind me of Oreos. Colorful Oreos. Is that what they are? Is that what macaroons are? Not Oreos. Are are those the colored things? Yeah, they're all different colors. Do they have cream in the middle? Yeah. Some, But I don't think... I don't know. I'm not the right person to ask. I don't know how to describe a macaroon. I don't even know if I'm saying it right macaron macaroon whatever anyway well maybe we'll take you guys there yeah i'm sure we will i've been watching korean dad it's amazing have you seen his videos no i'm your korean dad oh yes i have he's so he's such a sweet guy he does this as uh, a way to say i love you because it's a heart it's a little tiny heart That is so cute. I know. Man. Do you watch him on TikTok or YouTube? Yeah, TikTok. Okay. Yeah. And it's crazy because he's been getting all this gear from like streetwear from Pharrell Williams. Pharrell? Yeah. Because Pharrell has, you know, all his street clothing stuff, you know, from Adidas. I mean, it's from Adidas. Pharrell's probably not actually sending it to him, but still. That's cool. It is. Aw, I love that. Okay, well. <laughs> this is a long vlog. This is 32 minutes. If is you this watched, your little record or definitely, no? Definitely. I, yes. I definitely could not have done it without you. Well, if you ever need a long vlog, you know who to call. That's right. <laughs> I'm sure we'll do more. We'll, we might do Tuesday's Talks. Tuesday Tea Talks. I want to use that name, but also someone's already doing it. Ooh. And they just started. So I don't want to be like, hey, what's up? I'm taking your name. Well, no. maybe you can just hype up that person by getting on their bandwagon, you know? That's funny, yeah. Or we could just call it Tuesday Tea Chats, like you said before. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. We'll call it something. Yeah. So, okay, everyone. Bye. I love you. If no one's told you this today, you're loved. The world is a better place because you are here. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.